A warm welcome from Bharat Institute of Higher Education and Research. My, myself is Balaji, assistant professor, the Department of NCE, and my topic is Z transform from the post signals and system. So Z transform. So in mathematical and signal processing, the Z transform converts a discrete time signal which is a sequence of real or complex numbers into a complex frequency domain representations. It can be considered as a discrete times equivalent of the Laplace transform. So let us see. So we want to start looking at the first concept. The Z transform is basically represent and analyze discrete time signals and systems. So now for a given signal x of n, a z transform x of z is defined as summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z of minus n. So this expression is, is the uh, uh, expressions for z transform that is the uh, x summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z or minus n is the expressions for the z transform. So um, the z transform converts a discrete time signals, which is the sequence of real and complex numbers into a complex frequency domain representations. So this is the definitions of z transform where z is a Equal to complex number and can be represented in term of polar coordinator that is the magnitude and phase as z is equal to r e power j omega so this r e power j omega is a polar coordinate and r is equal to model of z and omega is the phase or an angle of complex number so omega is equal to phase or a complex number. So x of n, if you take a z transform, you will get a x of z. So this is z transform pair. That is x of n. If you take a z transform for the x of n, you will get a x of capital x of z. Then x of n and x of z form of signal z transform pair. Now similarly to the Laplace transform, one can also define a region of convergence for the Z transform, which is basically the range of value for which the Z transforms and gives. Region of convergence. So region of convergence, we shortly call it as ROC. So the region of value for which a Z transforms converges, X of N is equal to A power N of N. So let us consider x of n is equal to a power n u of n, where u of n is a discrete unit step function. So this u of n is discrete unit step functions, that is u of n is equal to 1 for n is greater than or equal to 0. If it is 0, otherwise. So if I substitute this x of n is equal to a power n u of n that is in term of x of n i'm going to substitute a power n u of n values so you know the formula for uh, z transform as i said before x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n in term of x of n i'm going to substitute the value a power n u of n so x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity. The first value I am taking as a a power n u of n into z power minus n. In term of x of n, I am substituting the value a power n u of n. Okay. So as I said before, u of n is unit step function, discrete unit step functions. So and the condition for the u of n is if n is greater than or equal to 0, then I have to substitute the value 1, okay. otherwise 0. So if I substitute n u of n is equal to 1, so the ranges for summation will be changes to n is equal to 0 to infinity because so u of n is 1 for 
n is greater than or equal to 0 that is 0 to n term okay so that is n is equal to 0 to n means infinity okay so summation n is equal to 0 to infinity for v of n is equal to 1 okay so if u of n is equal to 1 then we will get remaining term as a power n z power minus n so if i take summation for this a power n z power minus n so yeah, for the both values n is common so I'm, i can take commonly outside that is a z power minus 1 the whole packet of n so summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a z inverse of n that is if I take a uh, z transform for this value i will get that is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity a power n is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus a inverse so for the in the term of a power n i'm having a z power minus 1 so you can write it as 1 divided by 1 minus in term of a i'm having a z inverse so 1 divided by 1 minus a z inverse if i take a z transform for these values okay now the z transform of the of the signal that is x of z is equal to summation a power n u of n z inverse we get the values 1 divided by 1 minus a power minus 1 so the converge only if model of a power z inverse is less than 1 that is that can be written as model of a is less than model of z so we can write it as model of z is greater than model of a so this is the roc of a power n u of n but this infinitive some converge only if model of a z inverse is less than one or that can be take, uh, written as model of a less than model of z that is equal to model of z is greater than model of a so this is the basically the region of convergence for this z transform for, for this z transform means a power n u of n so let us consider a be the real quantity which is zero is less than a or less than one so for this region of convergence the x of z is equal to z divided by z minus a where here the z zero at z is equal to zero and uh, here the pole at z is equal to a that is z minus a can be taken as pole at z is equal to a so and the conditions from zero is less than a and less than one so now if you look at this x of z is equal to z minus z minus a this has a, a zero and that is the root root of the numerator is z is equal to zero and this as a pole at z is equal to a so if you see this the figure this can be plotted in a z plane as shown in slide and the region of convergence is all value of z that is uh, model of z uh, is greater than a as is as this is a term as the z plane on the x axis we have a real part of z in the y axis we have an imaginary part of a z we are plotting all values of z where the z transforms converges and this is so regions of convergence for a power n u of n and that is basically includes all the value of z such that model of z is greater than a that is basically all values of z in a z planes which which are out, outside the circle okay so this is the unit circle and this is the zero origin and this circle as a a and this circle as a one that is unit circle so i'm taking uh, x axis as a real part of a z and y axis as an imaginary part of the z so you know that the we have a region of a range of zero less than a and less than one so roc is model of z is greater than a so for uh, for the range for the roc model of z greater than a we have uh, basically all values of z in the z plane which has uh, outside the circle so i have plotted outside the circle so this is the region of convergence for a power n u of n uh, z transform so so let us 
give you another example that is x of n is equal to a power n u of minus n minus 1. Now we have checked a power n u of n. Now we, we will go for another example a power n if it has u of minus n minus 1 we get a power n is n is less than or equal to minus 1 or 0 is otherwise. This, this values is called a left hand signal that is if I substitute in the z transform that has what is the formula for z transform expression x of z is equal to summation z is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n. We have seen an example for a power n u of n for that we have got the answer z divided by z minus a. Okay. So similarly if you go for another example u of minus n minus 1 we will get summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity a power n u of minus n minus 1 z power minus n. So for this u of minus n minus 1 um, the, re the range starts from minus infinity to minus 1. Okay? For u of n the range starts from n is equal to 0 to infinity. So here we have a left hand signal that is u of minus n minus 1 for that uh, ranges from n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1. So uh, remaining values a power n z power minus n. So I am substituting m is equal to minus n. In term of minus n I can substitute the value m. Okay? So if I substitute n, m is equal to minus n, I am just interchanging the sign. So m is equal to 1 to infinity. Okay? I am just interchanging the sign m is equal to 1 to infinity that because I am replacing m is equal to minus n. So a in term of n I can substitute minus m in term of minus n I can substitute m. So summation n is m is equal to 1 to infinity a power minus m z power m. We change it as like this. So summation m is equal to 1 to infinity I am taking m commonly outside so I will get a power minus 1 z whole power m. So for this if I take a z transform I will get summation m is equal to 1 to infinity a power m can be written as 1 divided by uh, uh, a I mean uh, a power minus 1 divided by 1 minus a power minus 1. So similarly if we have if I take a summation for a power minus 1 z whole power m I will get a power minus 1 z divided by 1 minus a power minus 1 z. Yeah, if I, this is the convergence only for a power minus 1 z is less than 1. Okay? So that is model of z is less than model of a. Okay? So that you can understand. So what we have done here means in uh, x of n they give, we have considered as a power n u of minus n minus 1. So for this minus n minus 1 a condition is a power n n is less than or equal to minus 1. So this is left hand signal. So if I substitute in the Z transform formula, I will get summation is equal to minus infinity to infinity a power n u of minus n minus 1 z power minus n. For this, we have to change the condition as n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 because a unit step, a discrete unit step for a unit of minus n minus 1, I will get minus infinity to minus 1. So I'm changing this changing the range, uh, range from minus infinity to minus one, and uh, for that u of uh, minus n minus one value is one. U of, so discrete unit step value is one for uh, the range minus infinity to minus one. So uh, unit step will become one, and remaining term is z power minus n. So I'm interchanging m m is equal to minus n. I'm replacing m is equal to minus n. So wherever I find minus n, I can replace m. Okay. So x of z is equal to summation m is equal to 1, is 1 to infinity. I am just changing the sign. No? So it, it, will, it will interchange. Uh, higher term will become to lower term. Lower term will go to higher term. Okay. That is summation m is equal to 1 to infinity. a power in term of n, I can substitute minus m. In term of minus n, I can substitute n. So I'm taking m commonly outside, I will get a, a z inverse of a power minus 1 z whole power n. So if I take a z transform for this equation, I will get z into a power minus 1 divided by 1 minus a inverse of z. This is the convergence for a power minus 1 z 
less than 1. That is, model of Z is less than model of A. So, uh, if I take a, so if I take a different signal that is minus of a power minus 1 is z divided by 1 minus a power minus 1 is z this is the convergence for it, this this signals converge only for model of a inverse into z is less than 1 that is model of z is less than model of a that is x of z is equal to minus of a inverse z divided by 1 minus a z inverse into z so I'm just uh, multiplying uh, and uh, dividing. Uh, and I'm just multiplying uh, a inverse z in numerator and denominator. It will become uh, if I multiply z, a power minus one z in a numerator and denominator, I will get one day minus one divided by a z inverse minus one. So I'm multiplying. Uh, multiplying the numerator and denominator by a inverse into z. So if I multiply like that, I will get the equation as minus of 1 divided by a z inverse minus 1. So uh, see, to remove this minus symbol, I am just interchanging the values, then I will get 1 divided by 1 minus of a z inverse. Now minus symbol will go off. Okay? So these equations can be written as z divided by z minus a because 1 divided 1 minus a z inverse if I take cross multiply the value I will get 1 div minus a 1 divided by z so z can be multiplied here z minus a a so divided by z so this denominator value if i take it to a numerator i will get z divided by z minus a so this is the roc of model of z less than model of a so this will become that is x of z of uh, minus 1 divided by a z inverse of minus 1 we get the answer z divided by z minus a and in fact the previous one also uh, written as uh, 1 divided by 1 minus a z inverse and now multiplying uh, multiplying the numerator and denominator by the uh, a z inverse and this will become z minus z minus z divided by z minus a so so summation n is equal to 0 to infinity we got the answer uh, for a z inverse of whole power n we got the answer of z minus z minus a so you can see both of them so are equal to z my z divided by z minus a However, the previous one has an ROC of model of Z is greater than model of A. And for this one, the ROC magnitude of model of Z is less than model of A. So we have the same Z transform but with a different ROC. Okay? So that is the difference. So for um, for A power and U of N also we got the answer of Z minus Z divided by Z minus A for uh, A power N U of minus N minus 1 also we got the answer Z divided by Z minus A. Uh, what the different is uh, the, we got the same Z transform but a different re regions of convergence. So to specify the signals accurate, accurately along with the Z transform the ROC also has, the has to be specified otherwise the z transform is incomplete so the roc of these signals looks like again let us consider as 0 is less than a or less than 1 that is uh, the circle of amplitude uh, lies inside the unit circle that is let us check here so for um, x axis uh, uh, the real part of z in a y, y axis the imaginary part of z and this circle I have taken as a A and this circle I am taking as a 1. So this is unit circle. Okay? So for uh, Z is less than A, we got the unit, uh, I mean the, the circle of amplitude lies inside the unit circle. 
so this is model of a is equal to model of model z so the region of convergence is a region lying inside the interior of the circle with model of z is equal to model of a so this is also termed as a unit circle and this is the course the z transform therefore x of a x of n is equal to a power n u of n the z transform is same that is z divided by z minus a for roc model of z is less than a and uh, for uh, x of n is equal to minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 and that is left hand signals uh, for that also we got the same z transform but uh, uh, different ROC that is model of z is less than model of a so for uh, a power n u of n we got a same z transform and different ROC that is model of z is greater than a for uh, minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 we, we got the same z transform value but different ROC that is a model of z is less than model of a so for a power n u of n uh, model of a is greater than model of z uh, for that we got a, uh, we got the diagram as uh, uh, that circle of amplitude lies in outside the circle for uh, a minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 that is left hand signal we got the same z transform with a different roc as model of z is less than model of a we got the circle of amplitude lies inside the unit circle so that is the difference okay so uh, for for a, a power n u of n we got the outside the amplitude the circle of amplitude lies in outside the circle for uh, left hand signal uh, the circle of amplitude lies in inside the circle that is the difference uh, but the z transforms is same for the both signals okay so this is the difference we have seen in the two type of a signal uh, two different signals uh, that we have a same z transform but different regions of convergence so here x of n is equal to a power n u of n that is same z transform z divided by z minus a and different ROC that is model of z is greater than model of u. For minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 we have a same z transform that is z power z, minus, z divided by z minus a. So here we have same x of z so different ROC regions of convergence. So here we have model of z is less than model of a. So, so to so to fully characterize the signal one as to also specify the ROC and now let us look at the Z transform of some common sequence. So first in the Z transform unit impulse. Unit impulse is denoted as del of n uh, that is equal to 1 if n is equal to 0, 0 if n is not equal to 0. So let us start with the common signal or the most fundamental signal which is the unit impulse also the discrete impulse the chronic the chronicle delta which is del of n is equal to n for n is equal to 0 and 0 for n is not is equal to 0 now x of z is equal to summation that is uh, you know the z transform here expressions that is uh, x of z is equal to summation is equal to minus infinity infinitive x of n z power minus n. so here we have a unit impulse that is del of n we have to substitute so for uh, if i substitute the uh, unit uh, impulse i will get x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity infinitive del of n z power minus n is equal to one so del of n in the, in the place of del of n, if I substitute 1, if n is equal to 0, then I will get 1 into z power. In the place of n, I have to substitute 0, no? so z power minus 0. So z power minus 0 is 1. So therefore, we got the answer 1 for unit pulse. 
So, so unit impulse if I uh, del of n is equal to one for n is equal to zero and zero for n is n is not equal to zero. So if I substitute the, in the place of del of n, if I substitute one, I will get one for for n is equal to zero. Now, so one into z power minus zero. So that is one. So del of one is del of n is equal to one for the regions of convergence. Zero is less than model of z, and that is less than infinity. So uh, the z transform of uh, d of n is basically unity. So why I'm saying unity means we got the answer one. So uh, the z transform of uh, unit impulse is unity. Okay. A second uh, sequence is unit step sequence. So unit step sequence is u of n is equal to one for n is greater than or equal to zero, and the zero for n is less than zero. So substitute in the z transform. So we'll get h of z is equal to summation n is equal to zero to n is equal to minus infinity to infinity in term of uh, x of n. I'm substituting u of n because so many set sequence we are doing here. So u of n into z power minus n. As I said, u of n is equal to one for n is greater than or equal to zero. Okay? So for u set sequence, if I substitute u of n is equal to one, I have to change the range. From n is equal to zero to infinity because ranges from zero is less than or equal to n. No, so zero to infinity. So summation n is equal to zero to infinity. So if I substitute one here, uh, one into z power minus n. So summation n is equal to zero to infinity z power minus n formula is one divided by one minus z inverse. So here the region of convergence is model of z is greater than or equal to one. Okay. So u of n. If I take a z transform, I will get one divided by one minus z z power z power minus one, and the ROC is model of z is greater than one. So now, if you look at the unit impulse, the ROC is in fact all values of z is probably with the ex expectations of ex expectations of z is equal to zero and z is equal to infinity. So for a unit impulse, we got the if I take a z transform, we got the answer one, and the region of convergence is zero is less than model of z, and that is less than infinity. For unit step sequence, if I take a z transform, we get the answer. So the the z transform z transform of u of n is one divided by one minus z power minus one, and the ROC is model of z is greater than so so these are the uh, types that is unit set unit impulse unit uh, unit set sequence are the two types which comes under the, the transforms and uh, they have seen what uh, definitions of uh, Z transform that is Z transforms converts a discrete time signal, uh, which is the sequence uh, of a real or a complex numbers into a complex frequency domain representations. And uh, Z transform can be expressed as X of Z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity X of n Z power minus minus n. So this is the expression for Z transform. So we have taken a uh, the, the the definitions of uh, z transforms we have seen that uh, summation n, n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n and where z is the complex number and it can be uh, represented in term of a polar coordinator that is uh, magnitude and phase as z is equal to r into e power j omega so this r into e power j omega is polar coordinator and R is equal to model of Z and uh, omega is phase or the angle of the complex number. So the region of convergence, uh, so uh, the, range, the range of value for which uh, the Z transforms converge, X of N is equal to A power N U of N. So let us take, if I take a Z transform for uh, A power N U of N, we got the answer as one, uh, 1 divided by 1 minus a power z power minus 1 and converge only if model of 
a z inverse is less than 1. So that is model of a is less than model of z that is equal to model of z is greater than a. So for that uh, that can be written as model of z is equal to z divided by z minus a. Here z as this z is equal to 0 and uh, poles at z is equal to a. So for this uh, if you check the diagram the regions of convergence of all the value of z such that model of z is greater than a no here on the x-axis uh, we have a real part of z on the y-axis we have the imaginary part of the z we are plotting all the values of z where the z transform converges uh, in the outside the circles because uh, model of z is greater than a so for model of z is greater than a the z transform converges uh, at outside the circle so let us take another example if i take another example as a power n that is minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 so for, this is left hand signal if i take a z transform for this equation okay well, i will get the value as uh, a power minus 1 is z divided by 1 minus a power minus 1 is z that is minus so we want to check minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 no? so for a power n we got the value here so minus a power n we have to add minus symbol no? so minus a inverse z divided by 1 minus a inverse z so this is converges for the uh, model of a inverse z less than 1 that is model of z is less than model of a so if i solve these values i will get 1 divided by 1 minus a z inverse and finally that is equal to z divided by z minus a for the ROC of model of z is less than model of a so let us check for the both as for the bo both z trans i mean for the both values that is a power n u of n or minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 the z transform is same that is we got the answer is z divided by z minus 1 a only but uh, uh, different is uh, region of convergence so the two different signals have the same z transform but different uh, region of convergence so if you see this diagram uh, for this is the diagram for um, uh, my, minus a power n u of minus 1 yeah minus n minus 1 that is left hand signal here if you check here so i am taking um, uh, x axis as a real part of uh, z and y axis as a imaginary part of z so here for model of z is less than if it is less than model of a means uh, we have uh, the circle of amplitude lies inside the unit circle if it is greater than model of a means it lies outside the unit circle so that is the difference and we have a uh, two type of uh, uh, sequence in z transform first one is unit, uh, unit impulse that is del of n. So unit impulse can be expressed as del of n. So if del of n is equal to 1 for n is, is equal to 0, if it is 0 means that is n is not equal to 0. So if I substitute in the z, z transform, I get the value as 1. So therefore, del of n, if the z transform of del of n is 1 and the ROC is 0 is less than model of z that is less than infinity. So for unit set sequence, u of n is equal to 1 for n is greater than or equal to 0. So if I take a uh, summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity, u of n, z power minus n. So if I take z transform for this u of n, that is unit set sequence, we got the answer 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse and the ROC is, model of z is less than, greater than 1. Okay. 
So u z transform of u of n is one divided by one minus z inverse, and R O C that is region of convergence is model of z is greater than one. Yeah. So these two sequences are comes under the z transform, and we have seen what definitions of uh, z transform, and we have uh, seen a uh, two example two type of. Uh, uh, we have seen a uh, two different signals, uh, and uh, for two different signals, we have a same as uh, z transform values, and uh, it differs in the regions of convergence. So, thank you.